Hello and welcome to Kindred Spirit Tarot. This is your daily message for all zodiac signs for Tuesday, the 22nd of February 2022. Thank you so much for joining me. If it's your first visit, welcome. If you are returning, then welcome back and thank you. For today's reading, I am using The Star Tarot by Cathy McClelland. So, my wonderful friends, we've had a real um, awful, awful weather system coming through since Friday um, and it has been really, really windy. Uh, wind, one of the environments I don't do well in. Um, so, I'm just jumping straight into the most important day, <laughs> the twos day. Uh, all the twos. Um, I will be meditating uh, at 2.22pm, uh, so if you are in the UK, please join me and uh, I'll see you there. Okay, so let's start with our daily inspiration and it is today from Starseeds, Wisdom for Spiritual Growth. Here we go. And there we go. <clears throat> and today's inspirational message is Transcendence Transcend your mind's limitations and allow your soul's light to truly shine Transcend your mind's limitations and allow your soul's light to truly shine Wow Fabulous. Okay, let's see what wonderful message Spirit has for us for today. Here we go. Thank you. What is the message from Spirit? Thank you. For my wonderful friends. Well, there we go. And your cards are the Two of Wands, followed by the King of Cups. And finishing with the Five of Pentacles. Okay, your first card is the Two of Wands. Two, the number of options, choices, decisions, uh, relationships, partnerships. Um, I really feel with the, oh, sorry friends, and uh, Wands is the element of fire. Um, I feel that the two of wands, um, especially coming underneath this tr uh, transcendence, um, I sort of want to turn turn it that way. Um, and this is your journey. This is, well, this is you um, shining your light, <laughs> allowing your soul light to really shine out. Um, and I really feel that this is um, you getting the hang of now of... Uh, I really feel that these are like train tracks. Uh, so it's like you're laying the train tracks before the train comes. Um, this is you using your um, creative um, direction, I am hearing. This is you using your creative direction um, for the good, for your good, for the greater good I'm also being given. Um as everything as it's two, so everything here is um is is something that you are choosing, and you are choosing to shine your light to radiate your light out into the world uh, I'm drawn here we have um mountains in the background, we have water also, but the water is still um it's calm, it's tranquil, um, it's peaceful, and so are you. Um, I'll bring this closer. Uh, we have all the signs of the zodiac here, but it's like um, 
bullseye the target so it's almost like I really feel it doesn't matter which sign of the zodiac you are we are all going in the same direction we are all going together and we are doing this because we have learned how to open our heart chakra we have learned how to um, use this stargate i am being given thank you spirit to use this stargate uh, to radiate uh, your very soul essence out into the universe and the more of us that are doing uh, this and the more that are doing it together uh, the more we are making these wonderful uh, transformations and changes um, lifting our eyes to new horizons i am hearing Okay, next we have the King of Cups. Kings, they are successful, powerful, accomplished. They are about justice and ethics, responsibility, because they are responsible uh, for their kingdom and the people within their kingdom. The King of Cups, where well, he has really been showing up a lot, um, cups the element of water your emotions and feelings and the king of cups is very open-hearted he's kind loving generous uh, giving caring compassionate um, okay i'm really drawn to the illustration so below we have the uh, the wonderful uh, dolphins um of course dolphins showing up when when there's harmony i'm really feeling that there's there's harmony but dolphins are about harmony uh, playfulness uh teamwork i'm also hearing um And also I'm being given rebirth is a word I'm being given that this is a real, whoa, this is, it's a real true, real uh, rebirth I am hearing. Um, okay. And the King of Cups, um, his cup is full. Uh, it's not half full I am hearing. Spirit is saying his cup is full, your cup is full. Um Okay, and dolphins are on the shield, so also the energy of uh, protection. Uh, so maybe a dolphin spirit being with us, us today and protecting us as we go through these uh, transformations, these changes, as we make this transcendence, I am hearing. Um, also drawn now... Um, his crown chakra uh, also being well and truly open um, and the flying fish <laughs> of course fish um, they are really representing uh, your feelings here today um, and your feelings are taking off they are flying this is um, I'm just being shown Pegasus uh, so this is ascension this is true transcendence I am hearing Okay, next we have the Five of Pentacles. Five, conflict, crisis, chaos, um, but also transformation and change. And you are really making this wonderful uh, change. Uh, you've been doing it on the inside. It is really showing up now in reality, uh, in your uh, outer world. Um, we have more mountains. This is you raising your eyes to um, new horizons. Um, healthy challenge I'm being given. Um, so the five of pentacles, it can speak um, of uh, that horrible disease of lack, um, being worried and anxious about not having enough. Um, I'm being shown the four of pentacles card that we had from the Lightseer's Tarot, where we were told to um, prepare, uh, prepare, put things on uh, one side for our future, for our future self. Um, I'm getting more of that energy um, pre of being prepared, of preparedness. Um, I'm drawn to uh, the animal spirit here. So we've got dolphins, um, but also wolf spirit. Um, you are really being, this is guiding, guiding energy. Um, 
I'm being drawn to the book, friends. So bear with me. There will be something for us. Hmm. would be the last one wouldn't it okay finding the riches within oh uh, that's what we needed to hear okay so it's venus in taurus um it's the last quarter moon and finding the riches within and the wolf is your spirit guide guiding the pilgrim through the portal of transformation <laughs> oh wow this is the portal of transformation i was getting that your heart is actually um well it's a stargate it is a portal um you truly are going through this wonderful uh, magical time my wonderful friends a time of transformation monumental change and transformation but it's truly truly magical all at the same time my wonderful friends wow <laughs> wow 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 um and i'm just drawn to uh five and se uh, and two uh seven the number of spirituality and magic and it truly is at work today wow Next, we will have a card from um, Lightworker Oracle by Alana Fairchild. What is the message from Spirit for my wonderful friends? Thank you. Okay, too many. <clears throat> what do my wonderful friends need to know? <laughs> Gosh, too many. Just one card, please, Spirit. Just one card. I think they're just all vying for position. It's like every card has a message. <laughs> what do my wonderful friends need to know? There we go. Let's just lower the camera and your Lightworker Oracle card is, oh well, absolutely, <laughs> uh, you get number four, paradigm shift, so four, structure, security, stability, foundation in the physical, but it can also be limits and boundaries, so this is a time to do exactly uh, this, to tra transcend your mind's limitations and allow your soul light to truly shine. Wow. So transcending all of the low vibrational energies that have really been holding us back, sucking us down. But, ooh, but behind the king here is the tide of change. Wow. Going to wash over, cleanse, clear, <laughs> transmute. OK, so let's see what the message is. You are undergoing radical growth in your belief systems. Now is the time to challenge old attitudes and question previous expectations. You are in an extraordinary time. Great leaps forward can be made in a moment. The world you thought you knew can suddenly break open and a new world can become your reality. Buddhists sometimes speak of the beginner's mind, that which assumes nothing and therefore is open to everything. A spiritual psychologist might call this the inner child as it is innocent, curious, unfixed and always learning. It doesn't get stuck on an answer having to be one way. There is an openness to the unknown with curiosity instead. Old soul, souls can sometimes find it hard to recapture their not knowingness. Asking someone with a lot of life experience who may have become a bit world weary to drop expectations and look at the world through fresh eyes can be challenging. 
yet life becomes much more energising and interesting when you are open and don't hold expectations about what will be. Suddenly, you are receptive to the universe, helping you in ways that in the past you did not believe possible. All because you kept an open mind and an open heart. If you're feeling that you don't really know yourself, your relationship or your place in the world as you once did, if you are feeling that what you once held to be certain now seems to be a little shaky, these are the signs that you are going through a paradigm shift. This will bring you new perceptions that will free you to be in the world in new ways. You'll find yourself shedding old limits beliefs and misconceptions and you are stepping beyond what you have known oh wow 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 <laughs> oh yes we'll take that friends we will take that okay next we will have a card from sacred destiny oracle by denise lynn the deck I dedicated to our lovely Laura from Gazelle Tarot. It's wonderful to see you making videos again, my friend. Seeing that beautiful smile. Okay. What is the message from Spirit? Thank you. Oh, two. Okay. <clears throat> and your cards are release and freedom <laughs> okay i hope we're getting the message we're entering this going through this paradigm shift and the one thing they want to stop is the one thing that they can't. I am hearing. Wow. So let's try and go through these. Release. Autumn light. The cooler days and change of colour in the leaves mark the seasonal change from summer to autumn. The bracing wind wildly flings the red, orange and yellow leaves from the trees as they spiral to the dampened dark earth. Lingering sunshine filters through the canopy of vividly coloured leaves, creating an autumnal glow in the great cycle of life. Fall is the time of letting go. Just as spring is the time of new birth and summer the time of expansion and growth. Fall is the time of the harvest. It is the time to begin the inward journey into restoring and renewing for the season of winter. The sacred landscape wants you to know when you receive this card it's time to let go and surrender. Let go of situations, people, Objects that do not serve you. Let go of old, outmoded, self-limiting beliefs that drag you down. This is a time of stripping away superficial distractions until you reach who you are at your core. If you are holding on to the old, it's difficult for anything new to come into your life. Begin to clear your home and living environments of clutter. If you don't love it or use it, it's probably clutter. Clear it out of your space. It's time for a detox. To get ready for the new, you must release the old. Oh, yes. And next we have freedom. Cliff Swallow. The swallow flies free on wind currents and thermals in remarkable aerial manoeuvres, igniting the expression as free as a bird. In many cultures, such as that of the ancient Egyptians, the swallow was thought to carry souls to heaven. Early sailors would tattoo themselves with an image of a swallow, so if they drowned, the swallow would carry their soul to the heavens. In poor light, a cliff swallow looks brownish, grey. However, in good lighting, it is a luminous metallic dark blue. Cliff swallows traditionally make their nests on vertical cliffs, carefully crafting them out of mud. Although they can nest sol 
solitarily, they usually nest in colonies. When one finds a cloud of insects, it alerts the other members of the flock so that they can all be nourished. Even though they fly free, their community supports them. The sacred landscape wants you to know. Express yourself without hesitation. Break free and let your spirit fly. Make choices that increase your freedom. Don't be tied down. Laugh, dance and explore and go beyond predictable behaviour. Be daring. Cast aside restrictions and find your wings. As you do, you'll help others find theirs. You are not here to be ordinary or live a mundane life. You are here to step beyond limitations and self-imposed boundaries. Do not be trapped by convention or the need to please others. Choose life on your terms. Don't accept rules that don't feel right. You can be immensely free and yet still be a part of a loving, supportive community. Wow, 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 friends. <laughs> you are releasing all of that dogma. Okay, well, here we go. Oracle of the Unicorns by Cordelia Francesca Brabs whom I lovingly call my trusty steeds. And let's call on Ruby now, the kind red spirit. Here we go. What is the message from Ruby, the kind red spirit, for my wonderful friends? For Tuesday, the 22nd of February, 2022. Thank you. <clears throat> and your card from Ruby, the kind red spirit is. Oh, yes. <laughs> you are about to have some really delightful moments, some really delightful uh, serendipitous moments. I'm also being given. Um, and isn't this your, your favourite card, Laura, um, with the uh, dandelion head on? Uh, it's time to count your blessings and enjoy life, Ruby says. Uh, take pleasure in simple things and always expect the best. Oh, yes. I love that little pony with the gossamer wings. OK. <clears throat> and Ruby says... This playful fairy pony has danced into your day to encourage you to glide through life on a slipstream of joy and to approach this situation with a sense of fun and play. She invites you to trust that all will be well and know that feelings of peace, joy and gratitude will help solve any issue in your life a lot faster than worrying about it will. You may have been told that life is tough or learned that worrying is essential to solving problems. You may have been programmed that hard work alone leads to success or that it requires effort and sacrifice to earn money. But what if you could choose a new reality? This fairy pony is reminding you that the universe wants you to be happy and that when you wholeheartedly... <laughs> Expect positive outcomes, you will receive them. Start today by slowing down and taking deliberate pleasure in even the simplest of things. Count your blessings and feel gratitude for everything that you already have, no matter how small it may seem to you. Let the sun warm your skin. Enjoy the blue of the sky and the softness of the breeze. Sit under a tree, lie on the grass, Stop to smell the flowers, dance, laugh, love and play your way through life and trust that the universe will give you more reasons to be happy when you do so. When you believe, feel and act as if all is well and live in positive expectation, this situation will resolve easily. More blessings will flow to you and fill you with delight <laughs> wow and as i was reading that i had that 
oh do excuse me friends i had the uh the tune um don't worry be happy uh going playing through my mind so i will find that out and leave the link okay let's see what we get with the trinkets oh wow um so we have four three silver and um, one gold so i'll do the gold one first which is the uh, color of the sacred divine masculine and uh, we get a musical note um whenever i get musical notes or anything to do with music i always get um uh, like free spirit because it, you you are free to play uh, any tune any song um and spirit is saying what is your soul song what what soul song are you putting out there into the world wants to go on the king of cups okay and uh, first of three silver the color of the uh, sacred divine feminine and we have um, a little fairy um, and this wants to go on ruby's delight card because this little fairy here is um, bringing the beauty and the magic back um, and then we have a dancing prancing ruby um, I'm just hearing a floating paces, which is what we would <laughs> we would say Ruby was. She was very light on her feet in her uh, in her earth suit, and uh, it's described as having floating paces. So uh, you really are floating on this uh, slipstream. Um, where do you want to go? This two wants to go on Ruby's card, okay, with this delightful little pony. And I did have a vision of Pegasus, and Pegasus really is with us today. Um, this really is aspiring to greater heights, um, greater heights of accomplishment that we have never been to before um this is real ambition it's heightened sensitivity sensitivity um a real well along with the the little floating paces ruby uh, there's a real um zeal and a, and a zest for life and um this is powering up. This is spiritually powering up. Uh, it wants to go on the King of Cups. Wow, <laughs> wow, wow. Well, thank you for all of your likes your shares welcome new subscribers thank you so much for your support you have joined a wonderful family of kindred spirits thank you too for your warm kind encouraging comments and emails i really enjoy receiving them so do keep them coming and so my wonderful friends may favor be with you all as i wish you a joyful a peaceful and a truly blessed day. And until next time, my friends, goodbye.